Yeah. yeah. I have to ask you about your debut album. Well, Tell me about the title. Well, it's it's called Rainy Bing, Axel Rose. I'm, I'm gonna keep my voice down. <laughs> in case I'm sure he's not here. Um, yeah, that I mean that that record was released in 2002. That was actually released three months before I was even in the band. Like that's how I got into the band now. Uh, so I can't comment on like the, any of the like the writing or like the recording process, but I think it's a brilliant name of a record. Why did you go? Why did your band name pick that? Oh, I I have no idea, but. Maybe it'll just remain a mystery, but I do know that I do plan on having a few beers and going out in the middle of the crowd and watching Guns N' Roses tonight. Oh, okay. Is there any songs in particular that you'd like to hear from Guns N' Roses? Um, I'd like to hear Estranged. Uh, I, pretty much any song off Appetite. Pretty much anything. I mean, I don't want to be a dick. If, if something gets thrown off Chinese democracy, I probably won't know it. But right. Well, for some reason, I think it's going to be um, it's going to be the hits. I could be completely wrong. They could not even show up. So you never know. Well, they, which have any good memories of playing? Oh, I mean, yeah. Each each time has been great. I remember uh, my most specific memory is funny. I was just talking to the guys from uh, the band Billy Talent, and we've done a full Canadian tour with them. They're really good friends. But when I first met Ian, the guitar player and first became like acquaintances and then became friends with him was at Reading two years ago, two or three years ago, memories of a bit hazy. But him and I just went around the entire fest, just kind of raising hell and having some drinks. He likes Jack Daniels and Diet Coke, which I personally find disgusting, but I was still drinking it because I didn't have anything else. And I remember watching Nine Inch Nails very, very messed up and having the it was like the best show I've ever seen. I love Nine Inch Nails and you know it's so that that's my best reading memory. I know it should be me playing a show, but it's me watching Nine Inch Nails with Ian from Billy Talent. So. Now you guys released White Crosses yeah. this year. Absolutely phenomenal album. You guys have been hammering away promoting it tremendously. Yes. Uh, yeah, what do you like to play off it? Um, we've been we've been playing. I, I would say about let's see the record's ten songs, but then with all the B sides, it, it, it's way more. Well, there are even B sides we haven't released, but uh, we probably play about five, five to six songs off of it. Uh, we always play like uh, Teenage Anarchist, and it's always fun to play the song High Pressure Low, and White Cross is always fun. It's it's a good hand clapper. Um, so yeah, no, I mean, I think any band would say this because it's true, but you always want to play your newest material that's so fresh to you that you have an incredible time playing. I mean, playing old stuff is incredible as well, but there's just something about playing the, the newer songs that gives you like a sense of gratification and you're trying to win people over. It's like a challenge, so yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know. I've, I've described it so many times, and I know this is going to once again it's going to sound like a boring answer, but he is the most incredibly polite, nice, gracious person. And there's no ego with Butch at all. He's basically he's our friend. Like I'm not name dropping. Like oh, I'm friends with Butch Vig. It's it's but it's that simple. Like we're friends with him and his family and. You know, his friend uh, who lives in England is coming out to hang out with us today. It's just, it's like it becomes a family affair when you work with him. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.